mainly front garden and this is a hedge, most native species apart from the uh, syringia, the lilac and the uh, lonicera but this is a hazel native species, local provenance and planted here about seven years ago and doing well and needing coppicing but last year it had a huge crop of nuts and as you may know I do quite a lot of uh, posts on hazel coppice and woodlands in general and ancient woodlands and hazel is a woodland tree yeah well it kind of depends huge crop of nuts last year has given rise to these I found a lot of these and ate them but I missed them all I missed some, didn't get them all so we've got quite a few down here and I was mowing my lawn she was rather overdue what with one thing and another hazel seed and over here there's more. One, two, three. Nice little poppy. And another one there. And another one there. And that's where the hazel is. I suspect there might be more around. Not sure how they got over here, but they did. So the question now is. Why are they growing in the open? Well, like most big seeded species like hazel, like oak, the standard story is that they're adapted to dropping under and sprouting underneath a canopy. The large seed giving resources for the tree to grow up underneath the canopy to give it a head start but that same sort of theory same sort of thinking applies to if the seeds fall in open ground and on the downs in Surrey I've seen a lot of hazel growing out in open grassland away from the nearest hazel tree and that's what's happening here you can't see the hazels from here but they're there we just saw them but the issue in Britain is that a lot of open habitats are heavily grazed. Also, you've got a huge population of grey squirrels, which are extremely good at eating these things before they ever get ripe. And my hovel is uh, in the middle of a housing estate, and I've never seen a grey squirrel here. They've got to come a long way across farmland and through housing and it's full of cats and dogs and people and goodness knows what all it takes quite a a trek for them to get in here to get at the hazels so a bumper crop of uh, nuts gives rise to these something to think about how are these adapted are they adapted to grow in a woodland or they just happen to be good at growing in woodlands and also growing in open grassland or open habitats as pioneer species. Birch is said to be a pioneer species, has small seeds which carry a long, long way. So they can obviously go from a standard birch miles in the wind across the countryside, drop and then grow if they're not outcompeted by grasses, etc. But a big seedy species can get a head start amongst grasses as long as they're not eaten. Which brings us to the question, is if we had less squirrels, would we get more hazels growing from seed in a woodland? And a supplementary question, should I be digging these up, transplanting them and growing them on and putting them in the, in the coppice to fill in gaps? Answers on a postcard. Thank you very much.